guys welcome back to Enigma 77 review so today we're going to be doing a um it's very similar to boohoo very similar to misguided but i have never ever bought from this place before my mum buys a lot from there i've heard her mention them a few times my daughter's actually said mum have a look on there see if there's anything you see that like you like basically now i did go into it with an open mind thinking I might not find anything but guys when I actually looked on there they had quite a lot of things that I was drawn to I just typed in black um, gothic not a lot of things come up for gothic but they do have lots of like belts and accessories that are based around gothic alternative wear and at affordable price so I decided to grab not one but three different things so I ordered them at different times the first parcel that arrived guys is this one here which is a very small one i did actually make a mistake with this one guys and i will just i will tell you what mistake i made so that was my first item and then i went ahead and ordered again from there Ooh. which was this one here which was clothing and then i decided you know what i've got a little bit of money left why not go and grab another item that I've seen on there that I wanted. So there's three items all in all guys, but I might as well do it all together. Let's jump into the first one and explain my reasons behind wanting to do this. So they're all from the sales section guys. As you know, I will venture into the sales section before I venture into anything else. If there is things that I want that are not in the sale, I tend to put them in a wish list and buy them as and when I can. Um, so one item, two item and then there's a little slip that comes with it delivery super super fast guys i cannot i cannot say anything bad if delivery was really crappy and i had to wait ages and there was issues with customer service i would i would tell you guys straight away um if that was the case but i've not had that up to now with this this pretty little thing so let's get stuck into it guys so <laughs> The first item is based around the series that I want to do, which is like a, a, a goth DIY. So I want to buy as many pairs of sunglasses as I possibly can that I can goth up. I was inspired by Jane Wilkes to do this. So this pair is hit and miss, guys. So <laughs> I just seen these and thought they were very retro, um, very different. Obviously, they don't look like your typical sunglasses, but... Obviously, all my sunglasses are on my table because this is where I'm going to be doing my little DIY thing when I start it. I'm still waiting for another pair of glasses to come. And then I want to grab two more pairs and I think that'll be enough. But these are super, super cheap, guys. And this one's like £4.59. And then I thought, well, they're different. I don't know what I'd put on here as far as like DIY in them. But let's try them on and see what they look like. <laughs> well, they are very very different guys they're um i'd probably call these more not so much the cat the cat eyed ones because these this kind of go up here these are more like just your random retro kind of glasses i think they're quite nice guys they're different different to what i'm used to but i would wear them guys i really really would but i wouldn't mind just putting a little bit of maybe a couple of bats on either end of these or something now it does say that they are 100% UV guys so that sticker usually comes on all your glasses so far all mine still have them on I've just taken them off that one but these are really really nice they sit nicely on the head there's no glass nib for them uh, again it's already built in which I do like anyway um, and they're quite sturdy guys now as for fitting they're quite a tight fitting but they do stretch there is some give in them and they sit quite nicely on the bridge of the nose. I think they're quite nice, guys. They're definitely different. But I do like red, so I've never, ever owned a pair of red sunglasses. There is a pair that I want on Killstar, which I will get. Not like these at all. Slots completely different to these. But for the price of these, I thought they was worth it. Um, they came in a bag as well, which is great. And it just says... The, oh, it is red. It's cat eye, guys. So it's red cat eye tinted lens sunglasses, one size. 
It actually says 98% polycarbonate and 2% metal. So it does come in a bag, so you get to see anything and everything that they're made of. So they are cat eyes. I would have just called them more of a, a retro kind of glasses. So that was that. So that was the first item I grabbed, guys. Bearing in mind, I was picking up things for um, this DIY. Now, this item, this is where the mistake comes in, guys. <laughs> and a valuable one at that. I have a bad habit of not reading the full description, guys, on things. I do it all the time. My husband says I'm really bad for it. Um, th this showed a picture of a dress with what I call a bolero style top that goes over the top. And I just thought the two combined together was nice. Although I wasn't 100% on the material, but it was £2.70 guys. Now I thought for £2.70 I was getting a dress and the bolero, but it turns out I didn't. I only got the bolero not the dress but I did go ahead and have a look at the dress on its own and I didn't like it guys I didn't like it on its own for some reason it looked very nice with this but then I thought you could pound this off with any kind of vest top dress that that was advertised with now I went back on the site to see if I could find this to see how much um to see the, the material and so forth but it had already sold out so Everybody had bought this super, super fast. So it comes in a pretty little things bag. Let me put that there just in case. And it's a really, really fluffy kind of material. It's it's strange, but it's different. So it comes with the pretty little things and it's a shake black eyelash knit extreme crop top. When I say extreme crop top, guys, I mean this sat above the lady's breast, not over. So... It does come right over. I just think it's a really nice accessory to have with um, a nice black dress, maybe even a gothic style dress. But it is very fluffy. Not everybody would be into this kind of material, but I think it's really, really nice. It's very soft. And it's long sleeved as well, guys. So you could have this as like an, a cardigan just to keep your arms warm on a summer's night. Not It doesn't necessarily have to be like a full, full stitch, a full can't get my words out a full length cardigan so as you can see it comes above like literally it sits on the breast not over over it, it sits on it now i may just do a try on with this with a black dress if i've got one or whatever item i've got next with this i could try it on with a black vest top but guys, it was £2.70. Now this is a size 16, so it will fit. It's very stretchy, as you can see. It stretches out completely. It's got a lot of give in it, which I like. You could go up to a size 18 on these. And that's all it says about it, guys. Um, I think it's nice. I was a little bit disappointed at first when I realised I just bought the top. But what did I expect for £2.70? I thought I was expecting a lot more. Now, that was the first time I ordered from there. So then I decided to go back in and have another look and see what else they had, guys. And that is when this next one comes along. So there's two items in this bag, guys. And you're going to look at me really strangely and say, what have she bought? That is it. Again, it comes with all these little bits and pieces. And it says, fill your bag, pay later with Klarna Fashion Express, get ready. Then there's just a little picture of a lady there looking very lovely. And then it has your pretty little thing returns on that, which is important. I don't think that came in my first one. I know you can't do returns on certain things. Um, I did read the list. I'm not sure if glasses were on there. But clothing is definitely on there. And then I have got my... There's a thought, guys. Let me just tell you. So the sunglasses was £3.60. And the... Um, the Eilish Knit Extreme was £2.70. I think I may have got some money off that as well because it was my first time buying, so I got a reduction on there. The glasses were £4.75 £4 or something. I got them for £3.60, which is not too bad. Right, so I've got the prices for my next two items. First item is a pair of joggers, like comfortable joggers. But these, I just thought they looked really, really nice on the lady. So these are a tall black tie-dye cuffed hem joggers in 16. Guys, not joking. These were £11.70. 
And I thought that was really, really good for these. They look really nice on the lady. I do like tie-dye clothes. Don't own a lot. I should be able to do a few of my own. I've watched um, Backbones do her tie-dye and it looks easy enough to do. I have done it on pur like purposely on my clothes before. Like, ac not purposely, accidentally on my clothes before. And I've ended up throwing them in the bin. When in actual fact, I could actually do something with them. So it says tall black tie-dye cuffed hem joggers size 16. So they're literally just a pair of jogger pants guys but i thought they looked really really nice i could wear these with um my high tops uh, my converse high tops i could wear these with my gothic killstar high tops there's lots of lots of footwear i could wear with these but they're comfortable as well and i do have lots of like black tops black jumpers that i could quite easily wear with these they're a size 16 and as you can see they're quite giving the material is not that thick but it's not sheer either you can't see my hands through there or my rings but the material is quite thin i will say that it's not a thick material like you normally get with your joggers these are quite thin quite lightweight these are quite nice for summer now this would probably look nice with a black crop top and this eyelash crop top over the top so i could actually try them together and see what they look like but um they're a nice wide fit guys so they're not like super tight like leggings they're a nice wide fit and then it's got this elasticated um bottoms to them and then the elasticated waist as well I think these will look really, really nice on with anything, even black, just normal black trainers would look nice with these. I do own black high tops, I do own white high tops, I own white trainers, black trainers. I've got enough footwear to dress the whole wardrobe of Boohoo and Pretty Little Things, to be honest with you. But that was them, guys, and I thought they were all right for £11.70. Now, this next item was even cheaper. This was £9, guys. Again, I think I used my i think i use my quid call and i also use my honey both you get money off and you get like you know you can save some money either way i just think both of them are really good if you want to um if you want the link for my quid call and you want the link for my honey pop a comment down below and i will get that sorted for you in a in a comment for you so guys this next item i did see and i wasn't too sure at first but i thought i quite like that so it's a black belted detail high neck long jumpsuit. I do like jumpsuits, guys. I do own quite a lot of jumpsuits. I own a few from um, Boohoo and I own a few from Misguided. I am actually selling one at the minute, but it's it's it wasn't my taste. It was pink and purple like leopard print. At the time, I thought it looked really nice, but it, it, it just not me. So there's a belt that comes with this as well, guys. This feels super luxurious material. So this is what I call a straight um, leg, guys. They are like tapered and they actually, there's actually a cat hair on there. It's not mine, I ain't got a cat. <laughs> that was kind of weird. That was really weird. Um, yeah, so they're straight leg and they, I think they're kind of fitted and then Oh, I do like this. So it's a high necked one, guys. And then it's opened at the back here with two little buttons, two little ball buttons. And then as you can see, it's got the, there's that. It has, must be my hair that's falling on it, guys. <laughs> and then you've got your inserts for your belt as well. So your belt to go in. You could put your belt or any belt with this, guys. This is a plain black belt. But you could probably goff this up and put maybe a, a spiky belt through there or a studded belt as an example or ear belt. You could even put your corset with this. Now, as you can see, this is for tall. So it is tall leg and it is, I like the way it tapers in, guys. It's not wide leg. It's just your normal tapered straight leg. Like it. I like it. I like how, it's, how it sits as well. It's long sleeve, guys. But as you can see, it's like a, is it back wing? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. It doesn't actually say. It just says long sleeve. But as you can see, it's more like a, a wide sleeve cuff. I do like it. And it's high necks as well. I'm interested to try this on, guys. It's tapered in at the waist as well. And it's quite stretchy at the waist. So there is some give to it. Now, this was only £9, guys. And I thought for £9, that was really reasonable. Let's see what it says on the label. It just says 
black belted detail, high neck, long sleeve. Jumpsuit size 16. Material, guys. Um, it has a pretty little thing label in there. I'm not too sure where I'll find the material label. It'll be in there somewhere. Usually it's right at the bottom. Here we go. So it says wash similar colours together. Um, polyester and elastane, guys. The two materials is for that one. And if I have a look at the trousers, let's see what material that is. I'm intrigued to see what the material for that jumper is as well. So again, it says 50% polyester, 50% cotton, um, 30 degree wash. Let's see what this one is. This can't be polyester. Oh, it is. 95% polyester, 5% elastane. I think most clothes from Boohoo, pretty little things, are misguided, are all polyester. So that was that item, guys. So that is my one, two, three, fourth item. My fifth and last item came this morning. I haven't opened it yet. I haven't looked at it. Um, I can't remember the price of it. This was a last minute buy. Um, it was on my mind. There was a few few of these in store and I was like oh I don't know which one I should get and I ended up getting this one and it looks a bit bashed at the minute <laughs> right okay so the detail of it comes separately so let's just open it up and see and then you'll get to see what it actually is okay so there's a, a gold detail that goes along the hat i did actually think this was silver not gold my bad don't know how this attaches to it so this is the hat guys it is like i said a bit bashed and squashed and there's a glaze thing that's fair it doesn't look very big guys i will say it looks tiny like oh no oh i like that how nice is that now i don't know how is this just sits on it i don't know I think it just sits on the actual hat. Just take that bit of, oh, dropping everything. Let me just put that there. And where the back tab is, I think that sits on there. But you could take off that, guys, and put anything in its place. I mean, it just shows it's sitting on there. But guys, I just thought, I know I've already bought a hat from Boho. And I just can't justify the kill star prices for the hats. I just a 30 quid and restyle. I just think they're really expensive. I don't want to pay expensive for something like this, guys, because I probably only wear it a couple of times a year. For that reason, I won't go mad spending. This cost me £7.20, guys. It's a black chain trim bowler hat, one size. They had a few different designs in this. I'll pop some pictures on here so you can see. If you're interested and if you're like me, you're just diving into hats. I've never really been one for hats, guys, I will admit. I never really thought that they, they suited me. I do wear like woolly hats, but I've never been one for this kind of hat. Um, until I went to um, my husband's cousin's house, which um, she had a hat and she let me try it on. And she said it was actually a famous hat from her band, which was Jeff Rotull. Um, and I just thought, yes, I like that. And it's quite petite. This would probably look nice with that jumpsuit as well. I kind of like this. I think it really looks nice. So guys, what do you think? I just thought it was different. It's quite small as the other one I have is quite more of a summery witchy hat as this. I think you could get away with wearing with just anything black. I mean, I'm just wearing a school t-shirt today, but I like this. So guys, let's go and do a try on and I will discuss what I think of them then. And uh, that's pretty little things. I will put everything in the description box below, guys. We want to go and check this stuff out or you want to buy for yourself. But so far, so good. All right, see you at the end, guys. Bye for now. Don't forget, if you want to see more of pretty little things, it's not something I've ever done before, but if you do want to see some more gothic alternative items from there, let me know in the description box. I don't really need any more clothes up to now, but I might just jump in there to grab the odd couple of things. All right, guys, stay to the end and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Okay, guys, first item is the tie-dye joggers. Comfy. <laughs> 
If something's comfy, I will tell you it's comfy and these are comfy. Like I said, the materials are only thin, they're very lightweight, they're very comfortable and plenty of room for me. I know I've gained some, some timber, but I will lose it again. I'm a yo-yo dieter. I've always gained and lost, gained and lost. Now I did say with this, I was going to try this cropped Valero top with it. Um, just to see. I mean, I have got a random plain black vest top with it. You can wear any vest top. Now, just putting that on, guys, it feels quite tight on the arms. But comfy. So let me just. So, this is the idea that I got. <laughs> the dress was like a vest top kind of dress. I hate it when your arms all twist. That's what was happening with the Killstar top that I were getting. You know where your under your arm seam goes? It wasn't twisting around and it was all twisted. It was the most uncomfortable top ever. Right, so this is how this goes. So basically it sits, your vest top goes here and this just sits on top of your your, your breast will so give you that opened if your top's a little bit lower down like so it gives you that opened illusion here it's warm and it's comfy i like this i would have liked this in i think i used to have a jumper like this that had thumb inserts in and i absolutely loved it but when these get a hole in it's very hard to repair them it's very weird because like as you can see it's just like a mini cardigan, it just sits, I just love how it just sits there. Let me just move my, yeah it just sits there, I like it. You could have it, you could pull it down further if you want to pull it down. It's like, it gives you that two-toned material. Obviously, it just sits nicely. There you go guys, so that is £2.70, so for £2.70, I mean I did wonder if if the sleeves were a bit longer, I would have put some thumb inserts in and had them as like the thumb inserts here. I think I might still be able to do that because it's that material that you could. Just put in two thumb inserts and just have this as a proper gothic top. Just create a hole there and then have it going through. I think that would be really, really nice. So that's them trousers, guys. They were £11.70. Um, yeah, I like these. These will look nice in my white Killstar high tops. Obviously, any footwear would go nice with these. Um, no pockets. That annoys me a little bit because I like pockets in like my tracky pants. I do own lots of tracky pants. I used to own a lot of Adidas, but I got rid of them all. Um, but I do like the on-branded casual lounge. I mean, I would wear these out without a doubt like this this is probably an outfit for me nice nice comfortable shoes and obviously i got the hat with these pretty little things so let's just have a look what do you think guys i don't know if the hat goes with this kind of outfit but hey ho there you go let's go and try the jumpsuit on next guys i like this hat as well worth every penny all right, let's go for the next out. Okay guys, so this is the jumpsuit. Um, it's very figgy. I definitely have to wear my pull-ups. I haven't got my pull-ups on at the minute, but I would have to have them on just to get rid of this pouch here. Um, I like the sleeves. I really do like the sleeves. I would have thought the neck would have been a little bit higher. It actually just sits here nicely, but I probably would have liked it to have been further up the neck, but it doesn't and it's fine. The belt is nice, you know, it just gives it that that little bit of something. I think my ring belt that I got from ASOS would look very, very nice with this. Um, you could even put the chains through the loop so you can have it hanging in a certain way. Um, that's the back, guys. And it's kind of like opened at the back here, so you can see. It's quite opened. Um, which is fine for me. Have I got the buttons fastened? Yeah. 
Um, I've just played it off with this hat. I love this hat. I just want to take it. I don't want to take it off. I would probably change the gold and maybe buy some silver chain similar to it. Um, and do exactly the same thing of the, what they've done and put it on the hat. So I probably will change it to silver. But I do like this. It would probably look really, really nice again with different footwear on. Um, there's so many different pairs of shoes you could wear with this. I personally, if I'm going to wear this on a night out, I would probably wear something like um, my Lamoda. Maybe on my Lamoda shoes would look nice with this on my Lamoda boots. Should we see what it looks like with a pair of boots, guys? Yeah, two minutes. Let's go and get a pair of boots. Actual pair of boots. I've just put my Lamoda boots on. I've got like two pairs of Lamoda boots. So any of the boots would look nice with this. Could even wear my Doc Martens with this. You can even dress it up and wear your strappy heels, strappy blocky heels, blocky shoes. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of going for this kind of casual look. But I would change the belt up and pull me in a little bit. But there you go guys, that was is it £9. £9 from Pretty Little Things. And the hat as well. I kind of like the whole aesthetic of it. As you know, I keep my labels on till I know I'm going to be wearing them out, out. Just something that I do. The trousers, again, are lovely with these. So far, uh, thumbs up. Now, I've also got my glasses, which, <laughs> let's just go for it, guys. There we go. And we're rocking it. <laughs> Pretty Little Things has passed its test. Material, everything, custom service, delivery. For my first order, I'm really pleased. I love how this is made. I like the material of it. It's very stretchy, very giving. There's no zip. You have to climb into it, guys. That's where I was panicking a little bit because I thought, oh, God, my I'm big round this side, you know, to get into a little, little neck socket like this. But it does stretch. The material is very, very giving, and I like that. There's no zips or anything, just the pocket. So there you go, guys. Tell me what you think. Put your comments on below. That's pretty little things. Um, I will venture into them again. Maybe not anytime soon, but maybe later on in the year, possibly. I may end up buying my girls stuff from there for Christmas. But um, there you go, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.